T60Z comes with a 12 volt 3 amp power supply. Make sure you use the one that comes with it and it's within 10 to 20 meters of the camera, otherwise you get a voltage drop. Uh, use a manual. Here you've got three cables. One is ground and two are for the RS485. You don't need to use them because the telemetry, which is the movement control, comes over the BNC cable. That's for the 12 volts input from the power supply. There's also an optional uh, ceiling mount pendant. Um, the camera is 10 times zoom and it's also fast speed read presets. Power up the camera and within a few seconds you should get the self test display come up. The uh, main thing to watch out for is the protocol, it's on automatic, it will automatically configure itself depending on what the DVR is outputting through the RG59 coaxial cable. So the camera has now finished this self test and gone to its first home position. Uh, first thing to do is test that the camera is actually communicating via the telemetry. If for some reason it doesn't move, just double check the connections and then check the settings. This is shown on a Hikvision TVI recorder. Uh, it's exactly the same on the OEM, which are made by Hikvision, just a different dis display color. Here you'll see the only parameter you can adjust is the protocol, which should be set to HIC Vision Coaxitron. Next, you'll need to set the presets, which are effectively uh, memory positions. Here I've input one as the first position and clicked on set and move it to the second place where I want the camera to go to. Just the zoom. Key in the second position and click on set and that will memorize the second position. It also briefly appears on the screen saying it's been accepted. Now I'm going to do uh, position 3, 4 and 5 in this example. Uh, by the way, there's a night clip at the end of this video, so uh, you might want to fast forward if that's all you want to see. Just checking to make sure all the presets have been accepted. Uh, all you need to do is click, put the n preset number in. Uh, two in this example, then press call and it'll go to the second position. Here I'm doing number four and then five. Next we'll need to program the patrols, which is a collection of presets that you've just programmed. Here I'm adjusting the duration, which is the amount of time it stays on a particular position. 
and then the speed determines how fast it moves um, and how fast it zooms in. I'm going to do all five of them just to show you what it's like. Uh, you can of course skip by this section if you wish. That's the first patrol program with five presets. Once it's saved, I just need to call out pre uh, patrol one and make sure it's running, which it is here, as you can see. Now I'm gonna exit the setup screen of the DVR and go to the live screen. Just checking, making sure the PTZ is still working. If I click on general, click on call patrol, this will initiate what we just programmed a few seconds ago. This is a patrol which is a collection of five presets. If you need to go to an individual preset at a time, then you can click on preset and follow by the number and that will just go to one preset at a time. The colour is slightly off on this because it's clouded over. It's actually darker than it appears on the, the screen. It's about to rain and thunderstorms. Uh, coming up next is the night clip. Uh, the site is actually quite bright so uh, you may not get these results that you're going to see in a few seconds. <laughs> 